What's going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So at the start of January, I decided to create a dividend portfolio, which I referred to as a Death Star. And I'm very close to $10,000, which is my first goal. Obviously, you want to have small goals, then have large goals. So my first step is to get to 10,000 and then it'll be 15, then 20, and then 25, and then 30, which is gonna be exciting. So my goal is to get to $100,000, and if you guys are very encouraging, you guys wanna keep on going. By the way, um, if you guys are interested in uh, signing up for M1 Finance, um, I'll give you my affiliate link in the corner and in the comment section if you're interested in uh, joining. I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, but we both get $10, so you get $10 for starting. So imagine uh, you know, having a one-sixth of realty income or um, having a, a small stock in uh, a gain or something just starting for your dividend portfolio. So that can help you out in the long run. But I'm almost at $200. So this is pretty exciting. When I really got the ball go rolling, I started in uh, July 2019, sure I put this in, and I was just messing around. And then all of a sudden I just said, I'm gonna start doing some damage. I'm not playing around. I put in $2,000 at the start of February. Then I started to go up and up and up. And then this is pretty exciting. So, you know, as I joke around, my Death Star is creating the, it's getting its turbo laser uh, prepared. So what's exciting is I just want to show you some changes I made and I bought some additions that are going on. Innovative Industrial Property just gave me $8.95. Uh, Pembina uh, Pipeline Corporation just gave me $132. Global X Super Dividend Rate ETF gave me almost a dollar and Seagate gave me $2.86. So the compound interest is really kicking in. Um, I have to thank Matthew Ramey uh, with his uh, dividend investing strategy. I implemented that. Uh, to my dividend uh, portfolio strategy so I can earn monthly dividend, well, dividends that distribute quarterly dividends and kind of convert that to monthly dividends. So I'm going to put that uh, video in the comment section as well as in the corner because I think that's very important. By the way, uh, moneybyramey.com is Matthew Ramey's website. Uh, he's done a phenomenal job on his uh, dividend investing and he shows you what stocks he buys. So um, no, he is not paying me or anything to promote it. Um, I'm actually promoting him because it's helping my dividend portfolio uh, be strong. So stocks like Coca-Cola, Pfizer, AT&T, uh, Unilever. I, I actually started Unilever and then he started Unilever. So I don't know, you know, a lot of people who have watched my videos are like, wow, Unilever is a pretty good stock. So that's why I post videos and stock and dividend analysis on stocks that I own because I, because I provide the rationales of why I like these stocks. Uh, another one that I added, I did pretty much um, two videos. Um, when I do plan on buying Philip Morris's Altria on British American Tobacco, I'm gonna be adding tomorrow. So the moment I wake up, boom, some money's going towards these guys. Very nice dividend they distribute. So I have some a little bit of diversification. I think Starbucks is a little overpriced. So I just put them at 2% right now. I almost have two shares in them. Uh, AstraZeneca uh, gives off a semi-annual. This is a bond, Brookfield Real Assets Income Fund. So I put those guys in there. Um, Exxon Mobil is a little bit down, so I'm going to lower their percentage. Delta is not distributing a dividend, so I don't see any use putting them in there. Same with Royal Caribbean, I'll probably put them at 1% soon. Um, LTC Properties gives up me a very nice monthly dividend. So my goal really quick is, as I showed in my previous videos, I need to get to at least 25 shares in some of these stocks. Now, QILD, you know, I would probably need to get to 100 so I can start doing some damage with my monthly dividends. I, I need the monthly dividends to start racking up so I can buy more quarterly dividends. at and I'm at 19 uh, shares, but honestly, because they're down, I might as well try to get 50 if I can. Uh, Aflac, I'm at 11 shares. LTC Properties, I need to get those guys up because they are a little bit down. Uh, Royal Caribbean, I'm not really getting that much from them, 
So, you know, they're not distributing their dividend, they're up. So I just was saving. Same with Delta. Um, Iron Mountain, I have 10 shares. I probably need to get that up a little bit. Exxon, I know is down. Fast now, I need to focus on those guys. Uh, very good company. Uh, Pembina Pipeline, I know they're down, obviously, you know, with the market and everything. Bank of America distributes a pretty nice dividend too. Ryman Hospitality Properties, I can't wait until they start distributing dividends. Uh, Hormel Foods, uh, that's a that's a nice one with uh, distributing dividends. Thank you for giving uh, posting your video and your comment, uh, Mr. Dividend Investor. Maximum Integrated Products, I don't know if you guys, you know, it's good to diversify. So it's one sector like real estate, uh, you know, like I had in previous videos, like well, IAPR, that's a good one. But other stocks like LTC, if they take a hit in real estate, Ryman Hospitality Properties takes a hit. I have, these guys are a semiconductor. So uh, that's one thing that's nice with these guys is they just, they're a semiconductor company and they give off a nice dividend. So I needed to hit the um, semiconductor uh, area and that's why I put money in those guys. Cheesecake Factory, they were down. I put a lot of money in it. Honestly, I should have put some money in them, my E-Trade dividend portfolio and just let it sit there and just reinvest the dividends. You know, it is what it is. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those guys, but um, I'm very excited for Altria Spirit Realty Capital. Again, like I said, is if the real estate sector is taking a hit, Boom, Maxim Integrated Properties, you know, Semiconductor, Hormel Foods, or Starbucks, those guys are well diversified. So that will help with my um, other stocks or Coca Cola. You know, I, I know a lot of people just, you know, discuss Coca Cola as a defense stock. So these are how my stocks are doing. Um, my gain, I mean, it's going pretty well. I mean, you know, these dividends QYLD, SPHD, LTC. Uh, Brookfield Infrastructure Partners, Coca-Cola, Iron Mountain. These guys are giving me the dividends. So the wheel starting to spin, as I um, discussed before, and I'm getting there. It, it, it's getting exciting. I mean, I'm almost at $200 in earned dividends, which is nice, but that's not obviously enough for retirement, or if I had a Roth IRA or anything, I should put more money in it, let the dividends reinvest and go from there. So obviously I'm gonna put money in right about $65 a week. And then once my dividends start kicking in and kicking in, kicking in, kicking in, I'm gonna start, uh, it's gonna be really exciting to see these, this start getting stronger and stronger and bigger and more dividends, more dividends. So you, you start having 25 shares, then you start having 50 shares per each one. And that's when the damage starts going. So once I probably get to about $30,000, that's when I'm going to start uh, really getting the, the damage is going to start kicking in and the dividends are going to start kicking in. So my long-term goal is to earn a thousand to three thousand dollars a month of my monthly dividends and two thousand to four thousand dollars a month of my quarterly dividends. So I just added this BlackRock multi-sector income fund, Aberdeen Asia uh, Pacific income fund, and Global X super dividend uh, REIT. Uh, those are monthly dividend stocks. Uh, they're not going to really go up or down, but they're just kind of like my income. So once I start making a lot more money, I mean, it only earned, it only gave me a whopping $4.17. I don't even think a Big Mac is worth that. But look what I'm getting now, $27.48 from these stocks, which is uh, kicking gear. So things are starting to really kick in. Look at QYLD. It's giving me $12.94. So if I had individual stock in QYLD, I think what I'm going to do eventually is just put my own money in QYLD in my E-Trade dividend portfolio. Uh, obviously keep QYLD here so I can get some monthly income um, to reinvest and all that. But imagine if I just had QYLD by itself and reinvested the dividends with all those shares, that's pretty nice. So I still need to keep that percentage high. Um, LT SPHD eventually its dividend will, will go up. I, I hope so. But um, you know that's another thing. If I all of a sudden had four thousand dollars in cash, I would I wouldn't be upset. You know, throwing it uh, or I wouldn't be. Um, how would I say this? I would be a little greedy and just throw it into SPHD. I feel it's down. It gives off a nice dividend. 
And, um, you know, it's better than a bond. So, you know, that's how things are going right now. LTC, they're down. I gotta get, I gotta get some stuff in, in these guys too. But look at, look at what I'm getting out of these guys. $7.35 in dividends. And if I put more money in these guys, at least a thousand, imagine this when this goes, uh, when it, when the compound interest starts kicking in. So they're getting me dividends. They're going up. Well, I mean, they're eventually going up because the market took a big hit and, you know, it's just exciting to see things grow. So I wanted to be brief with that, show you the changes I made. Again, British American Tobacco, Spirit Realty Capital and Altria Group. Very nice dividends, strong dividends. Um, you know, I, I would say Altria and British American Tobacco are stable. People don't care. People are going to smoke. And it's unfortunate. I mean, I'm a res uh, registered nurse. I'm in, I just started uh, grad school and just learning about the perfusion pressure and stuff with you know, hyper um, inflated lungs and stuff. It's like, these people don't care. It doesn't matter how much you educate them. And, you know, it's just a hot stock for nice dividends. So, um, again, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you're a Browns fan, go Browns. And uh, hopefully they beat the Steelers. And uh, you guys have a good one. And take care.